Hey Little League parents, Dan here and I'm at the Little League Batting Cages in Williamsport to help you find the perfect pair of cleats for your Little Leaguer. Choosing the proper softball or baseball cleats can help keep your child moving in the right direction while adding stability and security with each step. Here are a few basic tips to keep in mind while buying your first set of cleats. First, cleat type. At the Little League level and below, players are only permitted to use a molded rubber or plastic stud, so don't worry about looking for a pair of metal cleats. Second, proper sizing. A well-fitted shoe can help provide maximum support for the quick movements you'll make on the field. Your child's cleats should move comfortably, but try to keep space between your longest toe and the front of the cleat no more than a quarter inch. Finally, cleat height. There are two common cleat heights for you to choose from, low, and mid or high like the ones behind me. Low top cleats are usually lighter weight, which makes them ideal for players who value speed and agility over stability. Mid or high top cleats have a top that extends past the ankle to provide stability, support, and security, particularly when moving laterally. Remember, each sport has its own style of cleat, and we know your little leaguer will likely grow out of their pair pretty quickly at the youngest divisions of play. So don't be afraid to ask the store associate if their soccer cleats could work for this t-ball season as well. To learn more, visit dicksportinggoods.com for detailed cleat buying guides. But more importantly, remember to have fun this Little League season.